at this point, after this is applied, you have two options. Uh, selecting the mesh again, the character. We, we can go to Edit Envelopes. And what this will give you is whenever this mode is on, and scroll down here and select any one bone. Let's, for example, look for uh, the left thigh. Would do. Would do. Uh, if you notice, some of the areas, I just hit Alt X to for see through mode, and it gives me a better understanding. It kind of color codes the the mesh and shows the areas that are affected by. The, sp the selected bone, in, just in this case the left thigh, more and uh, less. For example, red is the highest possible weight, and uh, yellow is a little bit less, and you have gray, which is not affected by it at all, and you have blue, which is a very, uh, very little effect, for example. So what, what we can do is affect the envelopes by selecting those gray control points, and actually moving them up and down here they are oh, as you can also notice that once you click on several ones you can select different bones which is not what I intended but that's also very important to know anyway, once you select one of those you can modify it and it will affect the actual weight. For example, if we do something wonky like this, it will take it away from the leg. Uh, this is one system to go with. And you can play around with it. You can also select how powerful it is. You have many different options for affecting it. As you can see right now, it's still kind of affecting this, so we probably want to make it not as wide around here. Uh, no, it's probably affecting too little. And another, another way to manipul manipulate the uh, the weights is go out of edit envelopes and go down here. Scroll down to where you see the words weight table and right next to it there's a little wrench like tool. It's called the weight tool. You click this and the weight tool uh, interface will open up. Uh, this way gives you more control, but it's much more tedious. Uh, what you want to do is select the bone. Sure, it's going to, hmm. Vertices are not selected. Okay, actually you, you want to stay in the edit envelopes and you want to click on select vertices and this will allow you to select specific vertices if you can see this specific vertice here lit up when I selected it now using this you go back down to the uh, weight tool and here you have a list of all the bones that are affecting it right now so you have this bone which is the left thigh and you have the left calf which is fine for this one let's say we want to select all these vertices so we can do a group selection and we have them selected in the back I hope if not uh, we should, yeah the back ones are selected Okay. so here we have uh, the digits of 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.9 and 1 if we do it one, you can think of it as percentage, where zero is zero, five is fifty percent, and one is one hundred percent. So clicking on one would turn all of these vertices bright red, which would mean that they are completely linked to the thigh, the left thigh bone, and that would make uh, give you a better and cleaner kind of rig to the whole system. Ideally, around links, uh, around joints, what you want to do is assign all the bottom ones to in this case the calf and it's not very perfect like you have some rogue vertices here you can set them to one 
and it's a little bit better. And what we want to do with the middle one, right now it's about half, which is pretty good. So we want to give it five. So now it is divided evenly between this bone and this bone. We're talking about the middle uh, loop around here. And after you're done doing it for all uh, all uh, bones on the mesh, you can see that it will give you a better control and a little bit cleaner kind of effect. You can see we can probably do some more tweaking around the rear here and definitely more around the front as as the leg joins up with the torso. And uh, also ideally you probably want to set up a test animation where with the auto key you would uh, you would have the limbs moving around so you can find weird stretches like the one right here and correct them. But that is the gist of it. So thank you.